here we are. This is the Holland Yowler. This is our European van. We've been waiting so long to do this tour, but we're finally doing it because the weather is just perfect out. We're in northwest France right now, and we're going to give you the tour. This is a year 2000 Ford Transit. How's it going there? Good. Just using my hand-controlled window lower. That's awesome. <laughs> We definitely have some uh, different things here that you'd find in a vehicle than what we're used to back in the States, so it's pretty exciting. First of all, do you notice what side of the car Brittany's sitting on? I'm we... sitting on the driver's side, but the steering wheel is over there. Yes, we purchased this van in England because, one, the language, uh, speaking English and technical details made it much easier to get a vehicle than elsewhere in Europe. Also, the currency rate was a bit better for us. Uh, as well. So it was a smart decision all around. Uh, driving on this side, Drew, how do you find it? It's been pretty good. It's actually easier in mainland Europe than in the UK because in the UK you're on the left side of the road, in the rest of Europe you're on the right side. So even though I'm on the opposite side of the vehicle, it works out okay. I have not driven it yet, so I can't speak yet. And it is manual. So he's a left shifting manual driver. <laughs> Um, and here, I'll just show you a couple things. We have nice yeah. cup holders. <laughs> Ta-da! You can see those. We have Rodney, who came with us all the way from Florida, then our trip to California, and then our trip around the U.S. and Canada, and now he's traveling all over Europe with us. Um, we also have our USB charging devices Order. here. They plug into the lighter hole. We, we are have a big glove box right here. Yep. For postcards. S storage underneath the seats. For slippers. Different and things. some books. And meet me in the back. Or All right. I guess the main compartment. Well this curtains usually we close at night because it just gives us a lot of privacy. A lot of times people can't even tell that we're in our vehicle. It's kind of a crossover between a camper and a work truck. Here we are. The living room. We are now in the main cabin of the Howlin' Yowler. So I guess we should maybe have started off by saying the name of our van. But I did say that. You missed that already. Oh, okay, I was inside. So the <laughs> Howlin' Yowler. The Howlin' Yowler is named after Skip Yowl, our beloved friend and the founder of Jansport. So he's with us everywhere we go. And so far, we've been to England, Ireland, Scotland, Holland, Austria, Austria Germany, Germany, Yes. Luxembourg, and now France. Now France. We've been in France for two weeks. No, almost a month total, but we had a little detour back to the U.S. for a wedding, so... And it's gorgeous. Can we just show them for a second? Yes. How beautiful this is? This is Quipon, where my family is from in Brittany. The southwest portion of France. And, and what's, the campground. what's really awesome about campgrounds in this part of the country it's costing us like $22 a night right on the water. So for a waterfront view like this, you can't really beat it. And we're splurging a little bit because usually we're a stealth camp here boondocking. So. But it's so worth it. It's amazing. Feels um, great to be in board shorts and bathing suits. Finally. Good a long winter. All right, let's continue with the tour. Okay, so where do we start, I guess? Let's start with the bed. How do we sleep in here? So this couch slash bed we're able to lift it up, pull it all the way out. It has two legs and we move the cushion so it creates a sort of mattress. And then up here we have all of our bedding supplies, pillows, comforters, sleeping bags that we use as a cushion, um, sheets. Makes everything. it pretty easy because basically we just pull those out, pull them right down onto the bed and get it made in the night it's not for bad. sleeping every and then put it away bed. in the morning. Yeah, every morning we make the bed. So we're going to need pros, babe. We are. <laughs> well, let me jump up here. Um, should I show them your closet next? Sure. All right, so this is where Drew's clothes are. We have one here and one here. Quite a bit of room. Different supplies are in there as well, so not always just for clothes, but we got to make do with the space we have. And we did a wardrobe changeover, so we had a few more winter clothes when we were in England, and uh, stopping back in the U.S., we were able to switch out for some more summer attire, and... Up here, we have Also, under the bed is tons of storage, so oh, here. Yeah, here. I'll show that really quick. I can do it. Here. There you go. Yeah. We got lots of Red Bull compliments of a good friend. Who works for Red Bull, yeah. Yes, we have our tent, duffel bags, a heater, our wetsuits, snacks, some food. food. We're actually planning to summit 
or do the Tour de Mont Blanc around that's right. uh, Chamonix. And yep, that's our next destination. And here we have a big battery that supplies power to the back of the vehicle along with the terminal that allows us to be plugged in at the campsite and power the vehicle, power all of our lights. And when we first bought this van... By the way, here's my neighbor. Check him out. Oh yeah. <laughs> is he Gotta love that. His speedo? Yes, he's his. Oh my god. In his banana hammock. <laughs> oh yeah. He's very nice though. He came over and spoke to us earlier. <laughs> um, one in France, one in Rome. Yes, you will not find me in a speedo. I was gonna say, does that mean... No. Um, when we first bought this <laughs> van, we bought it on the good word the guy told us that everything worked but in reality we did not know if the battery worked the lighting the stove the oven the water the refrigerator the re we didn't know if anything worked at all they pretty much had stripped the vehicle of the things that run those different appliances so we really guessed on the whole situation and hoped that everything worked out and in fact it did we had to buy a couple different things like a new faucet for the sink okay. uh, get a propane tank replace a hose stuff like that but, but you know we what? were rolling and rocking it all worked out Rocking and, and rolling. I don't know why, but we saw this van at night in the in a rainstorm, and we didn't know much about it, but we both were sold somehow. That was back four and a half months ago in February. This was a wedding that. gift to Brittany from me. Yes, we, we play it when we're happy. Yes. I don't know many songs, except for Especially that. Especially when we have a view like this. <laughs> we cannot forget that. We're really loving it today. So this lovely pocket hanger came with our van. It has some holes, things come out, but you know what? It works for all sorts of things. Yep, good organization um, is key. We also have a chest down here where we put a lot of bags when they're not being used, so they're not laying around. It comes in uh, really, really handy. Got a spot for our keys. Yep, we hung some Bug hooks spray. up. We got our first aid kit, a lot of sunscreen, we got some tools and batteries in there, and here, well here we have our travel books, Drew's favorite book right now, I'm reading Bag of Bonding, like Walt, Walt Disney, and this is my journal, so I'll show you just quickly, we're collecting little bits and bobs, and uh, no more just holding on the brochures and ticket stubs, we're just making them into a book, it's a lot less clutter around, it looks yeah. really, really cool, so my favorite doing a thing, fantastic job. My favorite thing so far has been collecting few flowers. and various flowers. Yes. some sheep wool in there. Sheep wool, some cottonwood from, from Vienna. Cashel, Ireland. Yes, this is from Cashel, this is from Vienna. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, All right. some daisies from Amsterdam. There we are. Okay, I can show you this for an hour. Um, moving on. This is Tep. Brittany's our in-house artist. <laughs> I am. Um, and Tap Wireless is what keeps us connected. So this is how we're able to share on Instagram just about every single day. We check our emails mo most days. Let me um, see the back of it so I can see the logo. Tap. Yep. And he's also extremely useful for GPS. We would not know where we were without Tap. Yep, and we're able to call through Wi-Fi, on call WhatsApp. local businesses, hotels, if we need be, campgrounds. We don't have any phone service, so without Tap, we would be totally disconnected. Um, another useful item here is our Lucy light. It's solar powered, so we charge it up when we're, when we're in beautiful places like this. Yeah, it's really awesome. We press the button, it shows us it's charged, and you can't really see because it's so oh, bright. You can see out. it kind of right now. Yeah, it's glowing it, red. You can change different colors. It's amazing. We love it. It's inflatable, packs perfect for travel on the go for really a backpack like or a camper van. This one's my favorite color, <laughs> but sometimes it's purple. <laughs> okay. All right, um, show us the kitchen. The kitchen. Actually, first, this is Brittany's oh, mirror yeah. closet area. Has all of our jackets. All kinds of stuff. Here this it is. is the ladies, the ladies, ladies lounge. This is the makeup and soapy nail polish. I have not used nail polish once. Don't bring nail polish when you're living in a van. Uh, next, I have batteries up here, other supplies, art supplies, extra gluten-free bread, uh, 160 tea bags that we bought in England. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes we get excited, buy things in big, big quantities, and we're eating yeah, we them, <laughs> drinking them for months. And down here, more art supplies up here, sunglasses, 
We got socks, PJs, my clothes are all down. All there. the basic things you'd need to travel, except it's great because we have our home on wheels. You can bring a lot more of that stuff. And here I got my day bag, camelback. Keep our towels, towels dry and hang them up. Yep, Drew's shower towel. So originally when we bought the van, this whole area was the loo, as they like to call the restroom or toilet in England. And there was a wall right here with a door that came out. Toilet was in the back corner over there. Yeah. Decided to gut all this, take it out, move the toilet kind of into the kitchen and make a garage so we can keep bicycles, my kiteboarding stuff, um, all that good stuff, fun stuff. And yes. then show me the kitchen, show me your area because that's my area and that's enough about that. Well, I love this area, but this isn't only the kitchen, I guess it's the kitchen slash bathroom, bathroom slash garage. garage slash closet area, but um, it's a great kitchen. I love this kitchen. I like that it's in the back of the van versus our last van that was in the middle because if it's warm when we're cooking, we can open up these back doors, which is amazing. Um, another amazing feature about this van is that it has an oven. We yeah, we love this. Before. This is also actually our central heating in the winter time because we were in yes. the van, like we said, four and a half months ago in February and March in England, Ireland, Scotland, and it was chilly. We were wearing long johns all the time. You would not catch Brittany in a bikini back in those days. Never. It was so cold that like I had frostbite basically. I had a toenail fall off. Ah, crazy. But yes, having a van is with an oven has been super awesome. It so saved our lives. Um, if I was rebuilding a van, I would definitely install an oven because it's fantastic. We store our pots and we each have one bowl. Yeah, you got to be really effective with the amount of stuff that you're bringing, taking. So there's really double over the bowls for pasta, cereal, We eat the, rice, our pasta eggs. out of the pot many times. Yeah to avoid having to clean an extra bowl. Yeah. Um, but it's great. I don't know. I'm the dishwasher, Brittany's the cook. Most nights. I'm also the chauffeur. <laughs> um, and then a three double stove top burner. They just light with propane, which I think we have off right now. Yes, we do. We're trying to that. store it a little bit. Yeah, we're trying to conserve. Conserve it. off every time when we're driving or not using it. Um, and this is a spice rack that we got from our Sorry, the lightning went on our neighbor in the background. <laughs> <laughs> And this is from our good friend David, who yeah. uh, works with Quirky Cookie, Campers. No, Quirky Campers, yes. yes. Quirky Campers in England. Um, check them out. They have amazing, amazing camper vans. We stayed in Hector, yeah. who also had an oven, and that's when we realized when this oven, oven. is key. Yeah, we were sold. Um, another thing, this is basically like the pantry. We get lots of fun stuff from all over Europe in here. Um, That's one of the best parts about going to so many countries in a camper van is you get to try awesome food, shop at different grocery stores, find out the name of the grocery stores in each country. This, what Brittany is holding, is like gold to Drew. Stroop waffles for Drew. It's basically like a waffle cone with caramel and then a waffle cone cookie. Yeah, it's fantastic. He loves. And then we couldn't find almonds for the longest time and we finally found almonds. Um, what else? Uh, oh. Let's move on to the next pantry. All right. You get that concept, though. We have lots of awesome food and snacks and different things. We went to the market today, actually. We got some fun stuff. We got some more sardines in here. This is basically where we keep the canned goods. Um, our two plates. We literally have two plates. Yes. Um, and we have a box of various chocolate goodies that we've collected as well. And Show them the refrigerator. Our little fridge. This is a great fridge. So it locks like this when we're yep. driving. We hit unlock. She opens. Yeah, fit quite a bit of stuff in there. She's filled with crepes, actually. Crepes, orange juice, beets, eggs, cheese, bananas. tomatoes, veggie, veggies, and in here we have a little freezer box. So this um, fridge has been way better than our fridge last year. We had a lot of difficulties with that, but this yeah. year, this one's been rocking and rolling. It's very cold. We We're plugged in right now, so that's definitely like a huge, huge help for it. We even have a temperature monitor, Correct. which is fun. Um, and then, let's see, over here, this is our silverware. And yep. also, we have a backup stove cooker if we run out of propane. Which has happened. Yeah, we learned the hard times. way. This, uh, this is from our friends at the Rolling Home. Yes. They have really cool. Flip it over really cool mugs and mm, pots. Focus on that. There it is. The Rolling Home. There you home. go. From Creasy and Laws. A really great site. Uh, stoked ever since. They've been home. traveling all around. They did an awesome Kickstarter yeah. campaign. Raised some money. Redid their van. Created 
they have an awesome book you should check it out which we have in this van yes we do um this is where we keep all of our fruits and veggies they're all in bags because mm. we got a bunch of cherries and apricots and oranges From fresh market we rode our yeah. bikes to earlier and, uh, it was in port halligan which yes, is exactly. about a mile from here two miles we rode our bikes over we got we actually went running this morning went for a swim in the sea and came back, then rode our bikes to the market, got crepes for lunch. It was a really great morning. How do they say it in France? What's life like? Uh, la joie de vie, the joy yes. of life. And as you can tell, many people are living that style yes. of life here on the coast. One of our other favorite things are Wait, these hatches up top. I wasn't done yet. Oh, but <laughs> yes, we like to make sure it's cool in here. These hatches are awesome. Keep a nice breeze in here. They are very cool. There's also one up here. I designed a little fan to help get the hot air out quicker more efficiently but back to Brittany what does she have <laughs> what does she have to say well the other thing about these if we're on that is that we close them this way yep and they're dark at night they're like dark room shades and then you can open it so you have just free air and then yeah bugs you yep. do that for bugs luckily there's no bugs we here. actually cut bug netting for the back door and this side door earlier we don't know what Croatia Croatia is going to be like but we assume it's going to be hot and maybe buggy so we're prepared. Um, this is basically the bathroom, um, like toiletries kit slash baguettes. We have our toothpaste, toothbrushes, soaps, um, some salt, other various things. But then up here, I'm gonna close this a little bit. Yep. We actually drew constructed this. I did while I was cutting out the bathroom section for the garage. Yep, and so we're able to keep tea, few sauce things that would be heavy to put or dangerous to put somewhere that where it wasn't like held in place these are the mugs we drink out of every morning also our rolling home mugs <laughs> um, but i think that concludes oh our garbage hook we have a little hook here and our yep. little tiny garbage bag and we're making a strong attempt to recycle especially glass yep. um, so while we have small space we can at least you know make a difference that's right and in terms of chores, we always have to make sure that we have water in the van, which I'm going to walk around to the back. You're going to see that in a second. We have to always make sure the toilet's dumped, uh, keep our battery charged up, whether we plug in at a campground or have it being powered from the alternator on the front of the vehicle and to power it so we can charge our devices. Before we move, we always have to make sure nothing is on the surfaces and we have bungee cords That's right. to hold things in place. So this bungee cord we fasten with this screw. We learned the hard way. Originally, we were dumping the bed on so many All turns. The, the uh, cushions would just always be on the floor. It was a mess. It was crazy. So now we have it held in place. It's awesome. And we also have this little table right here. Can you see where I'm at? Yep. Okay, so this, we remove the bungee, which also is. We learned a, a lot of the tricks. Keeper holder. Yep. As well. A lot of things double over for multiple uses in this van. We learned a lot of different tricks last year traveling in the van in America. And so this is how we enjoy our meals. I sit on one side, Drew sits on the other. It's the perfect little table and it fits like exactly across the cushion as we need it to. Let's go show them the garage. Do you have anything oh. else in here still? One last thing is... The door night. closes? Yeah, we close the door and we have this awesome cover here, which then... We have one on the other side of the vehicle too able to remove it. Brittany has been decorating this throughout our travel with lots of different maps. Yes. But yes. Excited for the day when it was good for temperatures, held in the heat and kept out the cold in the winter time. Now it helps keep the sun out. We have maps Give us a little there. extra security so no one can see in the vehicle. We also have a safe. We have several locks on the door. So there's our, yes. our maps. Alarm our system. Map That's right. It's awesome. I love this little thing. Yes. And I love it when it's off because we get a great view. All right. All right. Let's go to the back of the van. <laughs> oh. Give us a tour. Well, one thing that's also interesting is that we have a Great Britain car in Europe. And with Brexit, that's interesting because everyone thinks we're Britain. Um, but we really just tell them we're from California. And now we have like limited edition GB EU stickers. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the back. This is the fun area. It's not the most beautiful, but it's fun. Got it. Got my market basket. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany likes to look stylish when she's at the market. 
But yes, like we explained, here's the bicycles hanging up. You kind of see them through there, through the fruit basket. We even Coming have little down. hooks for the helmets. That's right. Extra cleaning supplies, uh, parts that I need for working on things. Oh, and the other thing that we always have to do as part of our chores is make sure that we have propane. That's the cube. That's oh been one goodness. of the biggest headaches this whole time, We're gonna is have... making sure that we have the right adapters for these different tanks, because each country has a different one, so forth. We'll do a full video on how to find propane across Europe, because that's probably a whole story in itself. But that has been the hardest thing to try to figure out as we explore. So. That, I think, is a wrap for our van tour. Do you have anything else you want to say, babe? Um, bon voyage, and we're having a lot of fun. It's a lot of hard work, but we're learning a lot about ourselves and life and living simply and um, traveling slow. And living as a married couple, because that has a lot of new challenges as well. It does. We've been married for five months and known each other for almost seven years now. So two years in a van is time well spent and yes. has brought many good, good times to our lives. It's not over. And we still love each other after living in such tight proximity. Thank so you. that's a wrap. Visit us at our website at MrAndMrsAdventure.com That's right. And oh. Instagram at Mr. and Mrs. Adventure. And YouTube, The Mr. and Mrs. Adventure. Right, the Mr. Alright, well that's a wrap for our van tour on the year 2000 Ford Transit, the Howlin' Yowler Howlin with Mr. Yowler. and Mrs. Adventure. Thank you for following along and thank you for following our adventures. We love having you guys with us for the ride. Au revoir. Adventure on.